Uh, in another follow-up report now, we're learning more about the fake jewelry scam happening in the Capital Region. Now, earlier this week, we told you Amsterdam police arrested two people. News 10 ABC's Jen Selig found out similar crimes are happening in other local communities. Local police departments now asking for the public's help in fighting a new scam ring. On Wednesday, Amsterdam police say this young Maryland couple with their infant approached a city resident outside of their house. The couple claiming they were out of gas and needed help, allegedly offering to give the jewelry on their bodies in exchange for cash. Scam would be the gentleman would approach, he'd be wearing some of the jewelry, making it uh, seem like it was something he habitually wore, had for, for a long time, and uh, they take it right off their finger and try to sell it to you. It's all, all part of their spiel. The homeowner knew something was off and called Amsterdam police, who then conducted a traffic stop on Northampton Road and seized a stockpile of fake gold jewelry. Ricard McClescu and Artelika Vaduva are charged with criminal solicitation, but more charges could be pending. And now we're, we're seeing this grow to a scale that is larger than we thought when we first uncovered it. Lieutenant Joseph Spencer says this is a new scam ring, at least to our area. When the police department uploaded this press release, several law enforcement agencies across county and state borders reached out reporting similar crimes. The greater capital region, the Mohawk Valley, and actually from other states as far away as Michigan. It's not gang related, but this is a this is an organized crime. There's a multiple groups of individuals. Uh, we were made aware of this scam, and the two that we took into custody are part of the group, but we had identified other people in further parts of Montgomery County who were not actually uh, in Amsterdam that day. Police want to spread the awareness, get the message out there. They are urging the public if you have come in contact in these types of situations to reach out to the police department. Reporting in Amsterdam, Jen Seelig, News 10, ABC.